Hello all, welcome to my channel Learning Oasis. So in this video, what we are going to see is how to append data from multiple sheets into a single pivot table. So in my previous video, uh, we would have seen how to merge data from multiple sheets into a single sheet. So now we are going one step further. Baron, we are going to append data from multiple sheets into a single pivot table. And one more advantage is that even if you add new sheet, your pivot is going to get updated with the new data that you are adding in this workbook. So before proceeding to the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe it. So this is what we have. I have four different sheets. Uh, this is name of the students, their department, and then the grade they have gotten and then the year they have passed out. So we have four different sheets. One is 20, 19, 20, 21 and 22. So what I want to do is I want to create a consolidated pivot which can, which can give me the data across all these four sheets. So how to do it? Uh, so let's get started. First thing I want to convert this data into a table. So it's control A. I'm going to select the entire data and then convert it into a table. The shortcut is control T. And click OK. So this gets converted into a table and I'm going to rename this table as year underscore 2019. That is just for reference. I'm renaming it. So similarly, I have done it already for 2020, 21 and 22. So, so we have converted all four sheets into table now. So now let's get into the power query. So click on data and then click on get data from other sources from table slash range. So this is what you will see. And then you need to end, remove the text that is available here and then enter this code. Excel dot current workbook open parenthesis close parenthesis. So please make sure you are typing it as you see here. It is case sensitive and then hit enter. So this is what you will see. Uh, so it displays four different tables with the names that we have given for it. So I'm going to remove the names. We don't need that. Right click on it and then remove it. Also, I'm going to do, change the name of this query to consolidated. Let's say consolidated to it. And now click on this arrow and uncheck this option which says use column name as prefix and then hit OK. So now you will get the consolidated table. So all four sheets will be consolidated into a single table. Now you need to click on close and load. Okay. Once you do it, you will see all these data getting converted into a single table. So if you want to convert this into a pivot, you have to right click on this con consolidated pivot query and then click on load to click as pivot chart, sorry, pivot table report and then click OK. So you will get it here. So I'm going to add the year as filter just to check if the data has been updated correctly. And then grade here, name as values. So this is what you see. So if you see all four sheets has been merged into a single pivot table. So you can just use the filters. If you want to select 2019 alone, you can do that. And 2020, you can do that or whichever year you want, you can select it. So if you think this was useful, uh, please hit like for this video. So again, you might ask me another question. So we had four sheets already and then we converted into a pivot. What if I had a new sheet, uh, say maybe 2017 or 2016, whatever year it is, I'm going to add another data. Will this pivot get refreshed automatically? So the answer is yes, it will. That is the prime objective of this uh, power query option. So let's see, I'm going to add another sheet. So I just copied the data from a different sheet and pasted it here. I'm going to rename and rename the sheet. Say it's 2018. And the year I'm going to change it as 2018 just for our reference. So again, I'm going to convert this into a table. rename it so 
okay so we are done here so i'm going to go to the consolidated pivot now and then i'm just going to refresh it see once i refresh it it automatically adds the data that we have added newly in the filter option you will see 2018 okay so this is for 2018 the data that we have